Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. So, in the last episode we saw that Yusei actually got taken into one of these rooms, and I believe it's this one because um, now it's opened. So, yep, there we go. It's Yusei. Well, if it isn't shiny, so you got through Pipeline too. Yep. He got taken, huh? Hmm. The Chief? What about the Chief? What's happening? Seems like you're the talk of the trash recently. So you beat Bull Tanner, so what? Scum is still scum. You'll never be the champ like me. Okay. Do you? Half the sentence of the others. And we both get to go. Your slave. <laughs> oh, I'm your slave for life. Go collect some cards so you can have, okay. No ifs, ands, and buts. Okay. Hmm. So I have to go collect some cards, got it. So I gotta talk to all these people first. And get some cards. What's happening now? Who are you? Okay. Hmm. Got it. So I gotta talk to all these people to essentially make a deck here, so... Okay. So I'm getting some cards from you. Why, thank you. Wait, but how do I know when I have a, a, a deck? A new, pa a new pack has been added, what? Okay. <laughs> that was random. Okay, but I, I gotta go to all these um, different cells and essentially talk to all these people. So I can get some cards. Okay, that's two people. I think you do actually have to talk to literally everybody here. Like, everybody. Okay, that's another one. And then you. And then you, that's four people. I don't know if I need to go to... Okay, I'll, I'll skip my room for now. What about you? Do you give me cards? Yeah, right. You're a freaking officer. Or, or a freaking prison guard or whatever. I don't know. Dual chief, yep. Thank you for the card. Or cards. I don't know. And then you as well. Give me that. And then I think that's actually going to be it. Because over here we got you, which, yeah, you, you don't count. No, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Oh, you. Okay, uh, there's also this. What is this? 150 DP, okay. You say you don't have any cards, okay. Uh, so let me just go to my room now and talk to the guy in there. I don't know if he counts. Dude, you got some cards? No, okay. I'm gonna go in and save. So let's do this. Okay, I got it. I got it in the duel room. So where, where's he at? You know what? Let me use a save point. It's actually closer. You know, in case I do lose. Yep, I'm ready. I have no idea what these cards are, so yeah, hopefully I don't lose. I actually feel pretty confident, you know? I mean, you can't have that good of a deck, right? If you're borrowing some random ass cards, you can't have that good of a deck. There's no way they'd make the challenge that difficult. Go, Takasu C. Okay, this is 950, 950, oh boy. Okay, first to go, second, okay, I'm going second. Let's do this. I am going to win. Magic Cylinder, Moby. Oh my god, these are some good cards. Okay, I like this deck. Paralyzing Chain. I, don't, I did not read what that said. I have to read it. Two face downs and an. Oh my god. This is not good. Well then. When a card is sent from your opponent's deck to the graveyard by a card effect, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Really? Okay, that's, that doesn't seem that good, but I don't know. Uh, what is this? 
During either player's turn, you can discard. This is an Arcana Force card. These, these things are freaking shitty. Okay. Um, I am going to start by summoning Spear Dragon. And attacking for some piercing damage. Oh no, you did not. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Main phase 2. I'm gonna set Magic Cylinder. The good news is that uh, he did stay in attack mode. So I guess that's fine, you know? Now it'll be a little hard for you to beat over, you know? I take 500 damage, that's fine. In case you don't know, Nightmare Wheel uh, can target one monster on the field. That monster cannot attack or change its battle position. And the controller takes 500 damage during each standby phase of the person who activated Nightmare Wheel. Okay, so this person is doing a Synchro Summon. What the hell is that? Iron Chain Dragon. Okay. I have to read this effect. Uh, actually, what did you use? Okay, hold on, let me see this first. Once per turn, you can select one Iron Chain monster you control to have it gain 300 attack and defense. Okay, that, that thing is shitty. Okay, but it's a tuner. Uh, you can remove from play all Iron Chain monsters from your graveyard to have this card gain 200 attack for each card removed until the end phase. Okay. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the grave. Okay, I, I get it now. So you're gonna banish one. Okay, well, obviously I'm going to use Magic Cylinder. Um, so take your 2700 damage. Now here's the thing, even if I summon Mobius... Oh my god, that was the clutchest draw ever. Jesus, this deck is better than mine with these staples. This is ridiculous. Okay, so if I use... Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do some brain control, man. Brain control. This is amazing. Now I'm going to go in and tribute this monster, Mobius, the Frost Monitor. Activate the effect, yes. I'm going to destroy the face down, and then um, I think Nightmare Wheel is better to destroy. Where, what is that? Gravity Bind, that would have been lethal for me, man. Okay, so let's see, I can, oh my god, I can, I can win right now, right? Monster Reborn. Bring back your Synchro. Um, in case you don't know, extra deck monsters, you can only bring them back from the graveyard, like special summon them, if they've already been properly uh, summoned before. In this case, if, if there was an effect, like if an effect was used where it sent like an extra deck monster to the graveyard, okay, that's good and all, you know, it's sent to the graveyard, but then you can't monster reborn that monster because that monster was not properly summoned first, you know? So... The reason why I couldn't Monster Born is because it was properly Synchro Summoned first. But I just won in four turns! This is like record Why? Oh my god. Dude, this deck is amazing. Give me some of these cards. Well, actually, I just got them. Brain Control and Monster Born. I do not have Magic Cylinder yet, though. I will say that. Not that I need it. I don't think I need that card. Magic Cylinder used to be a really good card, and it slowly but surely just became really shit, you know? Like, I mean, not shit. It's not like a shitty card. Even by today, but it's not a good card. It's a it's a solid card at the best, you know. Wow. So you're one of those people, huh? You fucking idiot. You god damn it. A duel's a duel. What? Who's that? <clears throat> Whoa. Good one. Stop acting like a disgrace. <laughs> you tell him, good one. Jesus. A fragment of your memory has returned. Okay. More memory. More story. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We're slowly but surely getting a little more information, you know? about our past and stuff. <laughs> Who in the world are you? Okay. So we get to go, right? We get to like, just leave? Oh, perfect, okay. I don't have to go ahead and talk to people individually, thank God. Hello, Rex Goodwin. Hmm. Wait, are you talking to me? So 
Although I have been here in the past. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, so we don't have our stuff back? Security? Okay. We gotta go. Is that all we're doing? Hey, wait. What? Who's this? Oh, look, it's Bolt. Wait, that's Bolt, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. What do I get? Ushioni? Bring this Ushioni car to a shop called Bootleg in the Diamond area. Okay. Got it. I will make sure to do that. Uh, where am I now? Oh, I, I left prison, huh? Cool. Oh my god, where am I now? What the hell is this? Okay. There's a save point here. This is the place, right, already? Like, in the shop area? Who are you? Owner. Oh, Ushioni. You're a duelist too, and Okay. I already made it here. This, this, that, that guy made it seem like it was this faraway place, you know? Like, go to this owner, like, oh my god, like, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's duel. Okay, so basically every World Championship game has these puzzles kind of thing, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take on one at a time here. And yeah, let's go ahead and do them. So, these are actually a little bit difficult if you don't use a walkthrough. I, I highly encourage you to do it because it will mess you up badly, okay? So, basically, you have all these things here, material beetle and material beast, you got three face down defense position monster, so let's do this. Okay, I'm going to start by activating Pot of Generosity. I'm going to have to select two cards here, uh, known as, um, actually hold on, return two cards from your hand to your deck, then shuffle your deck. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use... Blind Sucker and Unknown Crusher. Okay. Switch to your original attack and defense each time a spell card is activated. Got it. Okay. I mean, this card is really shitty. Return two cards from your hand to your deck and then shuffle your deck. It's horrible. It's a horrible card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Big Bang Shot. And use it on you. Chain another card. Uh, no. Now the effect will go off. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh no, I think I screwed that up. Shit, I think I screwed it up. How do I... Oh, God damn it, I gotta redo this. I had, I had to negate it. Shit. My bad. Yeah, again, these, these things are really... Ooh, I still screwed that up, even though I was going step by step. This is this can be difficult. It can be. Because um, they are very... Oh my god, shut up. I'm trying to... Yes, let's do it again. I fucked up. Okay, it's my fault. My bad. Okay, let's retry again. So I'm going to start by activating Pot of Generosity. Uh, taking those same two again. Blind Sucker. And... Unknown Crusher. Okay. That twitches the attack. Then I'm gonna use Big Bang Shot. Okay, and then Chain of the Card. Yes, I'm gonna activate the Tree Beast effect and negate it. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and summon. Um, uh, it's because that depends on the number of dogma. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Nubia the Wicked, and it's gonna kill itself actually because uh, it's a really shitty card, but yeah. There we go. So now, I can go ahead and use uh, Dark Hunter's Effect because now I have. Wait, one, two to four. This card. Wait. I can't. Oh my god. How many Dark Monsters do I have in my graveyard? One, two, three, four, five. I got five monsters in my graveyard. There we go, use the effect and it blows up everything up. Awesome. And now with this, 2218, basically because there were five, 
It says you can send this card to the graveyard to destroy all face down monsters your opponent controls. And then this is going to be perfect actually for exactly 4,000 attack. Perfect! Notoria Beast. And Notoria Beetle. And that is it. So that was actually technically the easiest one, being the first one. Clear bonus, 100. 100! Huh. Duel again? Yes. Uh, Compact Duel 2. Yes, let's go ahead and take on this next one. Alright, so this next one here, I'm going to start by activating Terraforming. Uh, no. I'm going to obtain Magical Citadel. Or Citadel, whatever. Citadel. Tower of Babel, okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to activate Magical Citadel. Okay, um... Cool. Oh my god, this thing is going to load up on stuff, huh? I'm going to activate Solemn Wishes. Then I'm going to activate Upstar Goblin. Okay. Then I gain some life points, okay. Uh, plays when the fourth spell counter... Destroy this card and inflict the other boards of damage to the player to activate the spell card at the time. Wait, but isn't that going to kill me? Activate Gather Your Mind. Wait, when the fourth spell counter is in- Oh, okay, got it, got it, okay. Gather- yeah, so that makes sense. Gather Your Mind to select another Gather Your Mind. I can only activate one per turn, though. Okay. And then that's gonna happen, and then I take 3,000 damage. Okay. Then... I can go ahead and use this effect. You can special summon this card from your hand or give it by removing from play six spell counters from a magical citadel of Endymion you control. Go over here. You already got six. The reason why is because each time a spell card is activated, place one counter on this card. When a counter with the spell counter is destroyed, place its spell counters on this card. See? Okay, so now there's that many. I'm gonna special summon you. Let's do that. And I get to actually uh, select a card. I'm going to go ahead and choose Upstar Goblin. Uh, because when you actually special summon it, when you do add one spell card from your graveyard to your hand, and once per turn you can discard one spell card to destroy one card in the field. I'm going to actually go ahead and use uh, Upstar Goblin. Draw a card, okay. Then... Oh, look at that. More life points. And I'm going to use Smashing Ground. And then finally, I'm going to use your effect to discard a spell card to destroy one card on the field. And I'm going to destroy Gravity Bind. And there we go. Perfect, because now it's 2700. Simply attack for game. And that's Puzzle 2 complete. They're challenging, huh? I told you they're challenging. They can be very difficult, honestly. They really can be. Prove your skill is what it says. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's go and do another one, sure. Let's do number three. Okay. So this first one, what I have to do is actually activate Raigeki Break. I'm going to discard a Speed Warrior to destroy... Um, actually, it's, it's going to be my own card, believe it or not. It's going to be Burden of the Mighty. Uh, summon no, and do that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, summon Jung Synchron. Activate the effect, yes. I'm going to go ahead and special summon uh, Speed Warrior, actually. Let's do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Then I'm going to go here into the graveyard and activate the effect of Quillbolt Hedgehog. Um, 
Hold on, what is this? No. Gonna put that right there. Quibble Hedgehog. So now, if you have a normal summon, if you have normal summon a monster this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can tribute. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and special summon Turbo Booster. Now I'm gonna come over here and go ahead and um, synchro summon a card known as Colossal Fighter, which is this one right here. Colossal Fighter. Okay. So the only synchro I have is you. And then I'm going to use... Wait, which card should I use? Wait, I, so I need five, right? So I have to do... So if I do two... Wait, but that's a two. That's a two. So I have to use... But that's a... Oh, I have to use all... My, oh my god, I'm not counting right. Wait, why is this a no? What the fuck? Oh, okay, it's the other effect. My bad. My bad. Okay. So there's Colossal Fighter. Let's go ahead and special summon you. This card gains 100 attack for every warrior type monster in any graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graper, special summon one warrior type monster from either player's graveyard. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and use um, Final Attack Orders. As long as this card remains on the field, all face-up monsters on the field are changed to attack position and their battle positions cannot be changed. Okay. And next up, I'm going to be using skill... Uh, wait, hold on. What is this? Okay, and then... Here. Okay. Wait a minute, but if I... Hold on, if I use... Got it, okay. Use skill drain. Because I need to have you actually have equal attack. Activate uh, that, no, 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 no. Now we have the same. Now I'm gonna go into battle phase here. And essentially attack. Uh, no. So now we're gonna kill each other. Here's a really unique thing about Colossal Fighter. Because when you do this, you get to use the effect, because now it's in the grave or not in the field. So I get to choose a monster, and I'm gonna go ahead and special summon Colossal Fighter. In attack mode. You see the chain here? And now because the special summon, I can do it again, because Skill Drain is on the field, and thus my attack is exactly the same at 2800. Okay. And I use the effect yet again. Yep. And then bring you out one more time. And then attack again. And we kill each other one more time. And now I get to use your effect yet again. And special summon you one more time. In attack mode. And then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and use Mystical Space Typhoon. On Skill Drain. This will give uh, my Colossal Fighter 200 more attack if its effect is back, and it's actually exactly enough to deal 3,000 damage. And that's it. That's game. That is game. 300. 300 bonus. Nice. Alright. Wait outside. Okay, so now I can leave. Let me go ahead and save the game again. Sure. Oh my god, who's this? This is Blister. Get on. Okay. What's up? What's happening now? What the hell is this? This looks so shady right now, like it seriously does. It's crazy. Where are we going, dude? 
you're, you're, you're gonna like freaking murder me, aren't you? Like, are you seeing this? So, you know, Bolt, that's what I heard from the owner. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's my name. Okay. Security Impound Center. Yeah. Yes, I need that stuff back. We need a plan here. Yes, we do need a plan here, huh? Another minute? Okay. In the meantime, I'll grab this thing. The hell is this? Machiner Sniper. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave in that case and give you a minute to think about the plan. Uh, anything else over here? Uh, no. Can I enter this door? No, it's closed. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, get the hell out of here then. And let's go ahead and run on down, down this way. Um, okay, so where did I come from? So I, what the fuck? Who are these people? Precious cards. Can I go? Wait, where did I? I have no idea where I am right now, people. That is not where I need to go, no. Um, what's up here? That's also not where I needed to go. Dude, I am so lost right now. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. What is this? Can I read the sign? No, I can't. I can't go over there either. Dude, there are so many people here. Honda. But it's closed for business. Okay. Hmm. Let's go over here. Yeah, I'm not talking to all these people yet. Oh, I'm back. I'm back here where I needed to be. Cool. Alright. Perfect. Let's go over here. Let's, um... Let's save once again. I can do one more of these puzzles, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, sure. I want to complete all these puzzles because if you complete all of these, you unlock another duelist in World Championship mode that I'm going to be dueling later. So that's why I do want to, you know, basically finish these right now. So this is number four. So I'm going to start by activating uh, this card here. Activate your effect. Pay a thousand to destroy this over here. Um... Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Next up, I'm gonna activate this card. Telekinetic Power Well. Special summon both of these monsters. Crabons. Remember that card? Oh my god. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Psychic Snail. Use the effect on Destructotron. Now, okay, so let's see. Pan, so like one other control the monster can. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Mind Master. Pay life points to. Um, Tribute Psychic Snail. And I'm going to summon Power Injector. There we go. Um, now, I'm going to activate my Master's Effect yet again. This is why this card is freaking banned, people. Because <laughs> you can just spam it. I'm going to Tribute Kreb uh, Krebons and actually summon uh, the last card in my deck, Psychic Commander. Okay, now I'm going to activate Power Injector's Effect. Pay 600 life points to have all phase up psychic attack monsters gain 500 attack during this turn. Okay. Now, I'm going to activate Psychic Sword and equip it to Destruct Destructotron to you. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to you when the second time. Okay, I got it. Now I can enter battle phase here. This should actually be just enough damage, so I'm gonna attack with Mind Master. Um, 
Yes. I want to activate Psychic Commander's effect, actually. Um, and I'm going to pay... I'm going to pay 100 life points to target Spirit Reaper. But now he's going to get destroyed because of the effect. It got targeted. And now, if I do this correctly, it should actually be enough damage. So that's going to be 1900 right there. Then, I'm going to attack twice with Destructotron because he can attack twice, remember that. 4100. And then 4100 again. And then lastly, Power Injector for 1800 and that's going to be game. That was crazy, I just did that much damage this turn, this is ridiculous. Alright. Well, I did it. I did it. Perfect timing to end the video too, so that means I'm going to start the next episode by actually doing number 5, and then we will actually go from there. So... Um... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to do no things right now. I'm going to do no things, because I want to say... So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.